Hey YouTube, coming at you with a new video here. Harvesting some 18650 batteries out of these modem packs I've acquired on eBay. They seem to be in pretty nice shape. I have about 100 18650 batteries here, 33 packs. They're Picatron, they're used in Cisco and Motorola modems as backup power for those devices. So I'm gonna break these apart. There's three batteries in each of the packs and show you how I do things here. I've gone ahead and put the battery in the vise because it's going to help hold the pack while I take the cover off. Now before I go much further, I just want to mention some of the gear I use to go ahead and take the batteries out. First of all, safety first. Use my safety glasses. I have a pair of gloves. And I'm also going to use a small chisel and a finish hammer. As I take the cover off here, I'm always working the chisel or screwdriver in upward motion. I want to be sure I'm not going to go forward and hit and puncture one of the 18650 batteries inside. Now these batteries are pretty snug in there, but I found that pulling on one of the batteries is helpful in removing the rest of the batteries from the pack. Also want to be careful here when you're handling these 18650s. Next it's just a matter of removing the bus bars by pulling things apart using a set of new nose and so forth. Again you want to be really careful when you're using the new nose if any of the side of the battery is exposed, if the wrapper is broken and you touch the positive top of the battery to the side you're going to short circuit so you want to be careful here. Now the batteries are a little sharp because of the pits left over from the spot welds. So what I'm doing here is just standing the battery against the wooden work table. It's simply just dulling down those edges and smoothing out the rough edges. Now I have to say these LGs are pretty nice. They're a 2600 milliamp. I'm using my Opus BT3100 charger to uh, do a charge test. So that means I'm going to put them in. They're going to charge up, discharge, and charge back up. Now these batteries are a little low in voltage. They've probably been sitting for a while. So I found it best to go ahead and just use the standard charge function to get the batteries up over three volts. Once they're over three volts, I'm gonna go ahead and use the standard charge test settings here. Let the charger do its work and then come back and get the readings. Now these batteries are coming in between 25 and 2600 milliamps. The vast majority of them are coming in above 2600, so very pleased with the results. Now these batteries are briefly being brought down to 2.8 volts on the low side of the discharge cycle. Overall, the batteries are being discharged from 4.2 volts to 2.8 volts. All right, guys, so that's the process here for pulling out and harvesting these 18650 batteries. This is the lot from eBay, LG 2600 milliamp. They're all coming in around 25, 2600. Very happy, very pleased with this lot of batteries. Also have some other sources for batteries. I'm working on a couple places here locally. Also have a couple other places online that I'm going through to uh, get batteries. So guys, uh, thanks for uh, checking out this video. This is what I'm doing. A lot of guys are doing this. Uh, I'm just acquiring batteries right now and uh, still determining what I'm gonna use them for. I have uh, an overall goal someday to build a power wall, DIY power wall. But uh, I still have some other projects I want to work on, some smaller projects and so forth. All right, guys, thanks for watching. You know what to do, like, subscribe. Give me the thumbs up here. Uh, I want to thank everyone who's uh, subscribed. I'm up like four or 500 subscribers right now in the last month. I also want to mention, too, that we'll be giving away this solar panel. We've reached the 1,200 subscribers. I want to thank everyone who's left a comment, a like the video, and has also uh, subscribed to the channel. So thanks a lot, guys, and we'll catch you next time.